since y'all love the singing intro, here it goes again. You guys, welcome back to another video. But hey, what's up? Today we're gonna be building a suburban house in Bloxburg. I found two pictures here on Google. I was scrolling through and I saw a really cute house and I want to recreate it today. This is the best quality you'll ever see. But as you can see, it's a really cute house. It's modern, it's cute. I don't know if I like this version or this one the most. I do like the white one, so I think I'm gonna be going for it. Oh my god, I'm so excited, I wanna build. This is not gonna be like a very difficult house. What's up with the back of this house? It's literally the ugliest thing. How simple it is on the front, it's gonna be a really symmetrical house. By the way, you guys, sorry if I repeat a lot of words. I'm not a native English speaker, so I kind of struggle in speaking English. Okay, so I think this is kind of what they're going for. Now, the, the roof right here on this part is overhanging. And I think we can recreate that here in Bloxburg. Oh my god, this house is gonna be so tiny. So I think for this roof, I'm gonna do separately from the other one. So yeah, kind of like this. Oh, I like how tall it is. We can do this with basic shapes. Wait, is it really tall? I don't know. Okay, let's do this a little bit shorter. Let's shorten up this roof. We're definitely gonna need some basic shapes. So let's resize this. I think I'm gonna do it the size of the wall. Basically kind of like this. Now let's bring it up all the way over here and connect it. Oh, please, some of this is gonna work. Okay, this is this is really short. Let's, let's level it up with the roof first. Why is this? Okay, kind of like that. Can I drag it out even more? Oh, wow, that looks so cute. That looks perfect. Not that perfect. Look at this part. I'm gonna leave it like that. I mean, it's not a problem. Let's do the same over here. Why is this Loki kind of good? I thought it would look worse, but apparently with the good. Oh, I don't think I'm gonna be able to place another window. On this part where the where the door is gonna be, there's like a bit of an overhang. So I think I'm gonna do basic shapes as well. I'm not gonna do a, a wall just because a wall it's gonna take up a lot of space yeah in general the whole roof is overhanging but we're not gonna be able to do this on Bloxbury sadly oh should i do the door it looks kind of like the image one it pretty much matches the whole style of the house there's this little bush here but i don't have it sadly i I think I'm gonna be doing... Should I do this one? Okay, I'm gonna do this plan. Let's pretend this is a bush, okay? Kind of like that, okay? It's ugly. But I mean, we're recreating this house. The colors of the landscaping of this house are... Like, can you see this grass is greener than this one? Then there's darker bushes. I don't understand. It does look good though. It does look good. Okay, so this is kind of like an orangey color. We don't have this in Bloxbury. But I think I'm... Wait, maybe I should go for linen or a custom color. Let's try and find that shade. Okay, this is literally linen, but a bit. I don't know what shade it is. I'm struggling. Maybe it's this one. Yeah, it kind of kind of is. It kind of is. I'm going to do this part plastic and then I can paint the whole roof the same color. It's going to look really cute. Let's do it this way. The interior is going to be white. Oh, I'm not liking the roof they're using. Maybe we should do metal. Okay, we have a little bit of a problem. I can't put, te put texture on this wall or else the roof is gonna basically be painted the same texture on the interior and we don't want that. So let's do this. Let's do it like this. Feeling pretty confident about this. There's a bit of a window over here. Kind of like a large window like this one. Oh, we can do double sliding doors. Kind of does look good. Okay, let's see. Let's see how the interior is gonna go. So this is a pretty symmetrical house. It's gonna be a bed. I think we can do kind of like an entryway over here. Maybe a bathroom. Okay, so we need these doors to be in the social area of the house. Maybe we can do master here master bathroom we can do a bedroom over here oh we need we need a bathroom we need a bathroom for the house it could be here because i was thinking it's gonna be this way then the living room can be here the kitchen can be all along this wall we can maybe do kind of like a really cute entryway i'm definitely gonna be doing my own windows now what if we paint the floor the same color on the outside but with this these tiles Oh, it kind of does look good. It does look good. Plus, it's going to give us opportunity to paint every single wall white and it's not going to look... Oh, no. Is it true that if you exit bell mode and then go back in again, this wall is going to... Oh, yeah, it is. Because if you're, if you're struggling to paint this wall, like if, it, if it's painting the entire wall, you just got to exit bell mode and go back in again. It's going to be divided. I don't know if that makes sense. But yeah, I struggle a lot with that. And thank god they, they fixed it we can do a very cute modular entryway with counters yeah so this this whole wall is gonna be space for the kitchen 
I'm using this teal color for the cabinets and it does look good. My building style is very, very recognizable. Like my builds are always the same, but I do like it. I do like it. Look, I made kind of like an entryway. As you can see, the kitchen's gonna be here as well. I really like how long it is. Maybe we can do a bit of a mirror and we can also do some really cute clutter such as a little succulent. Let's do some car keys. What else? What else? Oh, a phone. I never do phones. Do a cordless phone. Nobody uses phones anymore, but we still do in this house. Now for the kitchen, I want to keep it a little bit minimalistic. Very clean, very modern. So let's do some really cute appliances. Someone commented on one of my videos that I always say cute and that's true. I love cute. It's my favorite word. I want to do cabinets in this wall. I like this wall empty. Maybe we can do a cork board. I also really like to do cork boards on my, on my houses. It's a nice addition. It's a nice addition, you can put some pictures to it. We have this really cute, I think I'm gonna do five of these. We're definitely gonna need to go back to the landscaping at the end. It's looking ugly. Now the real question is, where's the TV gonna go? There's no space for the TV, unless, should we put a TV though? I've This house is giving me kind of like vacation house. And for a vacation house, you don't need a TV because you're, you're gonna wanna do your outdoor activities and stuff. So maybe we shouldn't do a TV this time. If you're for some reason recreating this house, you can obviously add one. Just for the sake of this video, I'm not gonna do a TV. I like this couch, it's so expensive. It's really, really expensive, but I'm gonna do it. Ooh, yeah, that's what this couch needed. We can also do a big painting here in the back. I still feel like this space is empty. How's the dining table gonna look in this space? Is it worth it putting one? Yeah, around the one takes less space, so we can do one right there. Oh, let's do these chairs black. I love how these chairs look on black. Okay, so kind of, of the general layout is done. We need to add some details and do a painting here in the middle. Oh, let's do some, some wall lamps. These are really cute. They fit the vibe. Oh, don't forget the trash can. The trash can can is a must. Oh, maybe I should move the corkboard over here and do something on this wall. The real question is what to do. Let's do some of these glass shelves and we can do a little very cute hanging plan. Yeah, that looks amazing. Okay. Yeah, I like this house. I especially like how the view looks. Now, for the rest of the house, bathrooms are going to be the same. You're probably wondering why am I using the most basic tub if there is a really big variety of, of tubs. But as you can see, there's a really big window on the and the new tubs they kind of block or take up all the all the wall space. Oh, it's been a minute since I don't do kind of like a custom sink. We can do a really cute custom sink here and on the same on the bathroom on the master bathroom. Why is the master bathroom bigger than the other one? I don't know. Okay, last but not least, let's do some greenery. We should also do something on this wall. Oh, I forgot a mirror. Forgot a mirror in both of the bedrooms. Ah, oh, this house is looking really nice. Now for this bedroom, I want to do this bed. I'm sorry. I know a lot of y'all don't like this bed, including me. I include myself on this kind of trend of hating this bed. I don't know what's wrong with it, but there is something wrong. There is something wrong with this bed. Probably because nowadays you don't see this type of bed anymore. I feel like interior design has basically changed a lot. Changed a lot with modern trends. So yeah, everything's changing really fast. But let's do it. Let's go back to the old basics and do that bit. Just realizing there is no space for a dresser, maybe here. Yeah, it's kind of hidden. It's nice. Do people actually use dressers anymore or is it just we automatically put one in the bedrooms oh wow the bed is making me go blind all right last but not least last but not least let's do this other bedroom should we do it like a kid's bedroom or should we do an office i think i'm gonna do a kid's bedroom there's plenty of space for a bunk bed let's do it right there we can also put the same carpet yeah since this is kind of like a vacation house i feel like they would be using the same color scheme for every room oh we can also do some cute toys on the floor let's really spice up this room okay so let's put some toys on the floor i hope it doesn't but if we put a bigger toy oh this is gigantic a thousand dollars i thought it was more expensive let's do it right there in the corner that bird is gonna it's gonna see when see you when you sleep okay we can also do a little cat i still feel like it looks in oh i know what we're missing we're missing wall trims that's so true how how did i miss wall trims how did that happen you don't even you can't even see the wall trims well you kind of can so let's do it anyways yeah this gives it very much a lot of personality okay so let's do the bedroom last but not least we can also do the backyard now here's the thing since it's really symmetrical i don't know how to do it maybe we can do a t oh let's do one of those really cute i don't know if this is gonna be a good idea but i'm gonna fence this in okay i thought it would look 
really cramped, but it does look nice and private and cozy. A grill, I'm forgetting a grill. I'm forgetting a freaking grill. In the corner, we can also do some planter boxes. So let's do a few of those. We can take advantage advantage of the situation and do a bigger planter box. Now that I'm thinking about it, we also need some outdoor lining. So I'm gonna do outdoor lining and wrap this house up. There we go, what do you think? I mean, this house is not that bad. Kinda looks like the image. So let me give you a quick tour. So here we have the kitchen. I really like how long it is. Oop, forgot to change the decal. Definitely looks like a vacation house especially with this door. The back here is very simple. We have a fireplace, a grill, some bushes, a planter box. Here's the living room. We don't have a TV. Here's the bathroom for the whole house. And here we have the kids room, which I really like as well. Look at these windows. They don't look ugly from the exterior. That's really good. And here we have the master bedroom with these bees as well. They look amazing with the master bathroom. Really simple house. I love it. What do you think?